Is immigration reform coming soon? Hi, I'm Jim Hacking, immigration lawyer practicing law throughout the United States out of our offices in St. Louis, San Diego, and Washington, D.C. I get asked a lot on the Immigration Answers show, which is our free YouTube show, whether or not I think there's going to be immigration reform anytime soon. And I have to tell you, sadly, I do not believe that there will be immigration reform. There are many reasons for this, but the, the biggest one of it is that the Republicans, and especially the hardline conservatives, refuse to allow any kind of meaningful immigration reform to come to a vote. So Congress is so evenly divided, and the nation is so evenly divided, that a few Republican senators and a few Republican congressmen can keep this from coming to a vote. That's the long and the short of it is. Nobody wants to give the other political party a win in allowing people who are inside the United States without valid immigration status to get into valid status because they think that would put them on a path to citizenship and they would then be loyal to the party that brought around immigration reform. So I believe this is one of those political footballs. I used to say that abortion was one of these political footballs that will never be fixed or changed, but when it comes to things like Israel and Palestine and abortion, where people have very, very strong opinions, politicians use those uh, issues as wedge issues to drive up interests in elections and to get people to support their vote. Fundamentally, what we're talking about is the fact that Congress is broken. Congress is flat out broken. It's not working well. We have these uh, districts that are designed to allow for people on the far fringes of the political spectrum to get into office and they have no reason to work for compromise. You see this all across all political issues, but it's especially true when it comes to immigration. And it's really unfortunate because there are millions of people living in America who are contributing to society, who are following all the rules, except for the fact that they either entered without inspection or they overstayed their visas. And many, many of the people who are here without status have no path to citizenship. People ask me all the time, well, Jim, why don't they just get in line? Why don't they just pay a fine? Why don't they just fill out a form? There is no fee. There is no form. There is no line. There's no path forward for these people because our nation's immigration laws have not been updated in the last 30 years. So while I certainly understand why people are asking and hoping and holding their breath in anticipation of there being meaningful immigration reform, there is not going to be immigration reform until the Democrats get elected in a very much of a landslide and the Democrats then make this a priority issue. We can't forget the fact that President Obama was elected with a democratically controlled Congress in both the House and the Senate. He chose to use all of his political capital on the AHA, the American Health Care Act, to try to bring about Obamacare. He put all his political capital in there and he let immigration die after as I said, these Republican hardliners refuse to let things get to a vote. So for those reasons, I think that things are going to be the status quo and we're going to live in this world that we're in right now where it really depends on who the president is because the president sets the agenda on how immigration enforcement is handled. So when Republicans are in control of the White House, they will adopt a lot of regulations to try to make immigration harder because Congress refuses to act. And because Congress refuses to act when Democrats come into office. The president will do everything they can to sway things the other way. But at the end of the day, we're not getting comprehensive immigration reform. We're not getting meaningful immigration reform. And we're really not getting jack squat from our leaders in Washington, D.C. And that is the problem. If you have questions about this and you want to talk about it, you should come on our Immigration Answer Show. You can do that by following us on YouTube and subscribing to the channel. You'll get updated whenever we do a new video or when we're going to go live on that Immigration Answers show. You can also ask about it in our Facebook group, which is called Immigrant Home. We'd love to have you join us there. We have over 10,000 immigrants or people who love immigrants talking about the immigration process in that Facebook group. And if you're serious about hiring us and, and want us to work on your immigration case, that's the purpose of calling our law firm. And you can do that by calling 314-961-8200. You can email us info at hackingimmigrationlaw.com. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.